I've had many Singer sewing machines, and this is the best one yet. I am really in awe of what came with this machine and all it can do. It's more than I expected. I love it, and I would recommend it to any type of sewer. This machine is an incredible value, and I would highly recommend it. Customer reviews say it all. Singer's 9960 Quantum Stylus Sewing Machine features sophisticated functions and smart technology. Now you can have high-end features at a great value. The first thing we're going to do is plug in our power cord and plug in the foot control and turn the machine on. And you'll know the machine is on when the screen and light come on. Here's the hand wheel that you will always turn towards you, the bobbin winding stopper, the bobbin winding spindle, the carry handle, the spool pin where we'll put our spool of thread, the bobbin winding tension disc, a metal threading guide, another metal guide, our tension dial which allows us to fine tune the look of our stitches, and the take up lever. This is very important when we thread our machine, so we'll go over more about this later. The reverse lever, which allows you to sew in reverse, and also acts as a tie-off for decorative stitches. The speed control, which allows you to set the maximum speed of your machine. To the right is faster, to the left is slower. The programmable needle up-down button, which allows you to choose whether or not to have the needle stop in the up or down position when you stop sewing. The start stop button, which allows you to sew without the foot control on the machine. Down here we have the built-in needle threader, your needle, the all-purpose foot, the presser foot lifter, which allows you to raise and lower your presser foot, and a bobbin comes already in the machine. On our panel, we have our stitch selector buttons. And to the right, we have this circle of buttons. The up and down arrow allow you to increase or decrease your stitch length. And the right and left allow you to increase or decrease your stitch width. On the front of the machine, we have the removable storage compartment, which when removed exposes the free arm, which is very useful when sewing cuffs and pant hems. If we open up the storage compartment, we have additional accessories inside, such as additional bobbins and presser feet. Let's take a look at some of those presser feet. In addition to the all-purpose foot that already comes on your machine, you get a satin stitch foot used for sewing satin stitches and decorative stitches, a zipper foot used for inserting zippers, and it can also be used for inserting piping. A gathering foot, which can be used to gather a layer of fabric and can also be used to gather a layer of fabric while sewing it to a flat piece of fabric. A blind hem foot, used to sew blind hems. An overcasting foot, which can create seams and seam finishing using your overcasting stitches. A straight stitch foot, which is particularly useful when sewing shears and lightweight fabrics. A rolled hem foot, which is used for creating a rolled hem. A darning and embroidery foot, which is used for freehand sewing and freehand embroidery. And a buttonhole foot, used for sewing buttonholes.
might think that zippers are kind of scary, but they're actually pretty easy as long as you know the steps involved. This zipper right here, for instance, is a centered zipper right in the middle of the back of a skirt, a skirt in progress. This is a really good zipper to know how to do. It's pretty versatile. You can use it in lots of different garments. You can use it in home decor projects and bags, all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to show you how to install a zipper just like this using the Singer Somate 5400. So I have my skirt pieces right here. So these are the two pieces that I'm going to install my zipper in between. So once I sew them, they're going to go out like this and the zipper will be right down the middle. So the first thing I need to do is get my machine ready to sew. I'm going to use my regular presser foot for this step and I'm going to use the regular straight stitch, which is stitch 00. zero. The only special thing I'm going to do in the beginning is turn the length all the way up. So I'm going to hit that up arrow right here until I go all the way up to a length of 4.5. This is called a basting stitch. The reason we're using a long stitch length at first is because it's a temporary stitch that we're going to take out later and a longer stitch is just easier to take out. So I will be starting at the top edge of my skirt. I've pinned it together and I put a different pin right at the bottom of where my zipper opening is going to be. So this is going to help me know when to change my stitching, which you'll see in a second. So we'll start right at the top of the skirt. I'm going to use the 5 8 inch guideline on the right side of the foot. And we'll start right at the top of the fabric. And I'm not going to backstitch in the beginning because this seam is temporary, this part of the seam. So if I backstitch, that would just make it harder to take out. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to start sewing. I'll take my pins out as I go and I'm going to sew all the way to my special pin or my mark for the bottom of my zipper opening. Once I get to that point, I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn the stitch length back down to the normal stitch length, which is 2.5. And remember, if you ever forget on your machine what the default setting is, it has a line under it when you get to the default setting. So for the length, there's a little line under 2.5. Right off, we're going to push it over and attach it to the other side of the presser foot pin so that now the bulk of the foot is to the left of the needle. And I'm going to put the uh, skirt back under the needle and the foot. And this time I'm going to line it up so that the right edge of the foot is lined up with that center seam. And I want to start sewing right where I started sewing across the zipper before. And I'm going to do a back stitch this time, and it's, the goal is to catch the beginning of your stitching to make sure you back stitch over that little bit of thread for a stitch or so, just to make sure you secure that in place. So I'm going to start. I'll do my back stitch. And so same deal. Now we're just keeping the right edge of the foot along that center seam. When I get close to the pole, I'm going to stop. Crank the needle down, lift the presser foot, and push the zipper right past it, lifting that presser foot higher if I need to, just like that. I'll put the presser foot down and keep going. When I get to the end, I will do a back stitch, take out my skirt. So now all of my sewing for the zipper is done. And I'm just going to trim my thread tails here, there, and there. And at this point, I would take out those basting stitches that are holding the zipper in place. And then the very last thing you're going to do, this is the exciting part, you're gonna, going to uh, seam rip through those initial basting stitches on the top part of the seam down to the bottom of your top stitching. So you can take your seam ripper and just put it right down the center of that seam above the zipper and as you slide it, it'll cut through pretty easily and it will reveal your beautiful finished sewn zipper. You want to stop when you get to the bottom, don't cut through your top stitching. You can pull out all the little thread zips and there we go. There is our skirt in progress with our zipper successfully in the center seam. So see, it wasn't too scary. Now what you would do is you would just finish sewing the skirt as the instructions say, so you're going to attach a facing or a waistband or whatever that pattern has for you. The top will look all beautiful and finished.
Feed dogs are located under the presser foot of the sewing machine. Feed dogs move from front to back in a rotating motion to move the fabric through the machine as you sew. Conveniently located at the back of the machine, the drop feed lever lowers the feed dogs. Disengage the feed dogs when free motion sewing so you can move the fabric manually. Drop feed is a must-have for quilting and fashion sewing.